Visa vya wagonjwa wenye akili tahira kutengwa na jamii vinaendelea kuongezeka humu nchini. Idadi kuu ya wagonjwa hao hubaguliwa na hata kukataliwa na jamaa zao baada ya kupona pindi wanaporejea majumbani mwao hali inayopelekea wengine kubakia hospitali baada ya kupona. Mwana habari Elaitha Ogoti anaarifu zaidi kutoka kaunti ya Kisii. Ni wadi ya kumi katika hospitali kuu ya kaunti ya Kisi. Hawa ni wagonjwa wenye akili tahira ambao sasa wanatajwa na madaktari kuwa wamepona. Kwa sasa wana uwezo wa kubaini ni nini kinachoendelea hapa. Mimi nilichukuta kama nimeletwa hapa hospitali. Kupona nimepona, niko na macho ya kuona, niko na masikio ya kusikia. Niko na mapua ya kumpumua. Ni baadhi ya wagonjwa walioachwa katika hospitali hii na familia zao hata baada ya kupona. Wakija ku hospitali wanakaa miezi na miezi. Mtu anaweza hacho hata mwaka mzima. Wengi wamekaa hapa zaidi ya mwaka mmoja kwa kushindwa kulipia gharama ya matibabu. Wengi wao hutoka familia maskini. Wengine hukataliwa na jamaa zao pindi tu wanaporejea nyumbani kutokana na gharama ya juu ya maisha. The problem is that finances are the biggest problem in, in Kenya today and, and especially when it comes to, to, to medical bills. We don't have that much and we have families who are very humble. So they would leave you in the hospital, leave you in the streets, leave you wherever they can because they have no, nothing to pay with. Na hasho ni Mariara amekua hapa kwa mda mrefu. Anatuambi kuwa jamaa zake hawajawahi kumtembelea. Baba yangu alikufa 1990-1996. Pia my mom alikufa 1993. Wato walikufa sina wasazi. Sasa nakuanga tu hapa hospitali. Tunakuanga wanakucha mayandis, wananiona kidogo, my, my, my angos, wananiona wanatoroka. Nina shindwa sasa, maisha gani intaka katika hii ward. Yunis Komboka anasema kuwa yeye amepona na yuko tayari kwenda nyumbani. Lakini hana uwezo wakifedha kuondoka. Kwa hivyo, amelazimika kukaa hospitalini humu. Nimepona. Kupona nimepona kabisa. Fuatia kuongezeka kwa wagonjwa ambao wamepona, wadi hii inapata msongamano ikizingatiwa kuwa ina vitanda 20 pekee. You see 20 beds is a, a very small capacity and some of these patients stay for long. So you find those who recover who need to join the family members at home are left with us. I'm supporting them uh, to pay the NHIF and uh, we have also uh, from Kisi we're going to pick uh, 20. The numbers will be increasing as we go by uh, for the starters. We're starting with our 20 already identified at this facility. Kulingana na daktari Otomu wakazi wengi hapa Kisi wanausisha tatizo hili na imani za ushirikina. I really want to use this opportunity to appeal to all of us who may be having relatives who are having mental illness to first seek for professional medical advice, they are put on treatment, and then they are followed up. That way we will ensure that these people, uh, you know, they are able to live their full potential. Wengi wa wagonjwa hawa hutekelezo na familia zao pindi tu wanapofikisho hospitali. Na hata baada kupona, usalia tu hospitalini kwa kuwa hawa na mahali pa kuenda. Ogoti Elaitha, KTN Kisi.